Hi everybody, Woody here from Dive Talk. I thought it was very important to make this video before you watch any of the other videos. These videos are going to discuss Andy Davis's great article called Shearwater Dive Computer Settings Become a Power User. Now listen, he's going to discuss basic settings in the Shearwater and advanced settings. He's going to discuss basic decompression related concepts and advanced related concepts. He's going to be getting into an in-depth conversation on gradient factors. Do not change your dive computer's settings without understanding completely what they do. In fact, New divers, recreational divers, I would recommend you go with the Shearwater default settings. And in fact, until you are proficient with your trim and buoyancy and are in total control of your ascents, be conservative. In fact, I would always be conservative. Keep your dive computer on the most conservative settings. Technical divers, same thing, especially new rebreather divers. Trim and buoyancy always rule. That is super important. Let me tell you why. Because with these settings, these settings may allow you to get to a safety stop level that is as shallow as 10 feet. Because that may tell you that's the most optimal place to do your safety stop. But if you're hanging onto a downline or a bar, and there's surge in the ocean, is that really the best place to be at? Or if you can't maintain that spot at 10 feet, that's not very much cushion to the surface, is that really the best place to be? You see, it's best to be conservative, always, no matter what. Now, a couple of other things. Gradient factors are made to allow you to have different control of your decompression model. Now, you're, you're, you're going to be hearing discussions from others that are going to tell you, you're not ready to listen to this. If you hear an instructor talk to you like that, go to a different instructor. Everybody should be entitled to learn more. Instructors should welcome that. It's okay. That doesn't mean you should go and change your settings and dive in the most advanced way possible. We're going to discuss M value, maximum levels of your leading fastest tissue saturations that are theoretically available for a diver. The maximum saturation levels before you can come to the surface. Don't go anywhere near those. Don't change your dive computer settings to be anywhere remotely close. Who cares if you get out of the water first? Your low gradient factor for recreational divers almost always will not be applicable. But it may. What if you have an emergency and you end up needing to make deco stops? The gradient factor low is going to control your deco obligation at the deepest part of your dive. If you reach that setting, you're going to make a setting and your gradient factor low. That's how close you want to be to the M value. So if you set your gradient factor low to 30%, it's not going to let you go up any further. If your leading fastest tissue is 30% or more saturated, it's going to stop you at the deepest part of your dive. Even if you're a recreational diver, because if you went beyond your no deco limits by accident, that could kick in. So be conservative with those. Your high gradient factor is going to control when you can come to the surface after your final stop, your safety stop, or your final deco stop. Be conservative. M value is the most aggressive before you can go to the surface. That's 100. If you set your high gradient factor to 70, that means you're 70% to the M value. So you have a cushion there. Keep it conservative. There's no rush to get out of the water. 
Gradient factor 99 may tell you to move up a little bit from that 20-foot spot. But should you? Can you? Can you maintain control? All of these things are interrelated. But embrace learning, instructors. Let your students learn more. In fact, instructors may tell you, I don't fully understand this stuff. And that is the kind of instructor that I probably would want to go to, to be honest. And finally, these instructors that label themselves as elite instructors, what is that? There's no elite instructors. Maybe they have more experience and knowledge in a particular area. Great. They're definitely not elite. There's no such thing as elite. They're just more experienced or have more skills in a particular area. I hope they'll share their knowledge with you and I hope they'll welcome you into it. I'm gonna make mistakes in the videos. I did, I welcome positive correction. And um, finally, Andy, man, don't let anybody tell you this is not one amazing article. I'm getting soon ready to talk about the relationship between gradient factor 99 and surface gradient factor and go through so many of your awesome examples. Everybody, Dive conservatively, recreational divers, don't touch the default settings by sheer water. In fact, use the con most conservative ones. Get that buoyancy and control and trim under control. Come up slow. Who cares if you're the first out of the water? And instructors, welcome everybody into the world of diving knowledge. Let's bring diving up. Bye, everybody.